now. So what was that like having to play behind a deficit like that, the largest in your team's history? And then P.J. Walker kind of sputtered at first. Can you just describe what you think he was going through there? Um, yeah, well, we have been behind in the game, but what not, not that much uh, behind. But, you know, you kind of know that that's going to be the way the football game is. Uh, there's going to be times during the game that you have to fight through all the adversity, which we did, and we came back and made some plays. P.J., you know, wishes he didn't throw a couple balls, but the thing I was impressed with, he came right back and, and took us right down the field again. You know, he didn't let it bother him, and that's what the great ones have the ability to do. Kevin Keyes, Houston. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, can you talk about your team's resiliency? Um, you guys probably won a game. Like every situation, you probably win. So talk about the resiliency. The yeah, this uh, team in the five games, we've, uh, you know, we've, we've done it every which way possible, you know, with a lot of takeaways. And, and then we gave the ball away today and still overcame it. And, uh, you know, so I'm excited for the, the players to – you know, go through an experience like this, and, and uh, you know, we just got to keep fighting and hanging together and play to the last play, and, you know, I think the, the chemistry of the team is starting to show, and that's what happens when you play from behind. Jim, what's it like to stand in that locker room in front of your team, having run the table the first half of the season? Well, I certainly uh, weren't expecting that. We talk about it all the time doing it, but, you know, to actually do it, uh, you know, I feel good for those guys. Uh, I think uh, for me, um, you know, I've uh, been fortunate one time to be on an undefeated team in 50 years and undefeated team in 50 years, and I don't know how many guys have been through that in the locker room, but... Uh, you know, you're trying to win them all. Whether you win them all or not, you're going out each week to get that win, and we found a way to win this uh, this game. Winning different ways, how much can it help you in the second half of the season? Well, I think, I think doing it the way we did it, P.J. overcoming some things, uh, the offense overcoming some things, defense made a couple plays at the end, and we kind of said at halftime, if we can get two takeaways, we'll win, we'll win the game. And, and I think our defense got two takeaways, a couple of fumbles. I know you guys are five but no, but um, what are some ways you think you can improve the team? Well, I think we still have to have the ability to get off the field. The, the, the Seattle had a couple long drives right there again. You know, they had a different quarterback in there that could run, and, and uh, second half we seem to contain him a lot better. Um, and so, you know, we're going to have to, you know, do the same things we've done so far. We've made plays on defense to win games early on, the, on that stretch when we won the first four games, and then we made a couple plays on offense this week to win the game. Ryan Dunn, the Fort Penn Herald. Uh, I know the offense has been the storyline so far this start of the season, uh, but your defense finished the game here with three stops and a turnover. Just can you talk about what, what they were doing at the end yeah, of the game? Yeah, I, I was really happy uh, for them. They, they made some adjustments at halftime. Teddy did a good job with that, and then the kids uh, played hard and contained the quarterback. Uh, we sacked him a couple times and, and didn't let him get out and about and run, and that's what we knew we were going to have to do. Coach, I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record to you, but fifth, uh, fifth game in a row, second uh, second half defense only gave up nine points again. We talked about this last week mm -hmm. in Dallas. So just what what is it that you're telling them at halftime? Uh, you Coach Contreras telling them at halftime to get them going like that? Well, I, I don't know. It's, there's nothing magical to it. I wish... Uh, I wish I could tell you that. I just know that, that every halftime we talk about hanging together and playing the play longer than the other guy. And if we do that, we're going to end up winning some games. And the kids just uh, I bought into playing together as a team, playing together as one. And uh, that shows in the win-loss column. Uh, River Tompkins, Texas Sports Monthly. Coach, if... Sammy Coates comes back. Will he replace Sam Mobley as a starter on the outside? Well, he'll certainly play some, but but uh, you know those guys split time uh, anyway. They play about fifty percent of the plays. Couple more questions. Talk about some of your receivers who stepped up for you and uh, kind of stepping up in and uh, without Sammy Coates there. Well, Nick, uh, Nick uh, made some big catches at critical times uh, for us. Uh, Cam stepped up again, uh, had a big game. Uh, 
I kind of wish we would have hit that last one uh, down the field. That would have been big. But, uh, you know, Sammy caught, made some good catches. All of them, Khalil made some good catches. We're, we're uh, kind of spreading the ball around. Uh, I think they had some problems in the back end, so they kind of played a little more conservative than they had been. Coach, we're five games in. What's been your favorite thing about the season so far? Um, the favorite thing about the season so far, that's a good question. I would say, uh, you know, just coming in the locker room after the wins and talking to, to the team, even this one, uh, you know, I know that they're uh, working hard and fighting through a bunch of stuff, and it's fun to see them have success. Coach, can you talk about the, at the end of the game, the team sort of lost the composure. You got into some scuffles. And yeah. Uh, and I know that's not the way y'all like to play. No. Game. No, I, I didn't really see what happened, but you can't do that. I mean, you know, you, there's no, no place for it, uh, and we'll, we'll address it. I, I address it every week uh, about that, but, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, you live and learn uh, from it, but you don't want to have those unnecessary penalties. Could, could have been a real factor. Could have backed us up even further. Uh, I'm Darren Jones, Garage Park Media. Coach, uh, we've talked about the resilience of your team. Uh, They've shown that they can come back from a deficit, uh, recompose themselves, and, and get the job done. Uh, how do you keep them on track, not having not tasted defeat just yet? How do you keep them motivated? How do you keep them focused so that they don't get stagnant? And, and would you also give us a grade for your first half of the season? Well, I think they, uh, you know, learned a lesson today. Uh, you know, we talked about it all week, and, and so I don't think I'm going to have to talk to them again. We, you know, Seattle was one and three coming in here, and I kept telling them that this might be the best team that we've played defensively. And I think had they not had all the injuries, I still believe that to be true. Uh, but they, you know, they, they came back, held together, and we won the game. Um, and, and the last part of the question was what? Uh, again? What would be your grade for the first oh, half? Oh, for the first half? Um, well, I would say B's, you know, maybe even B minus in a couple of areas, uh, you know, but. Uh, five and O is an A. <laughs> One more question, uh, Coach. Can you talk about Nick Holly? On last week, he said that mm -hmm. you know he goes back to the huddle and tells um, PJ that the middle of the field is wide open, and you all are starting to get the ball to him a little bit more. Yeah, well, the coverage kind of dictates where the ball goes. Uh, Nick d does a, did a great job uh, on his first touchdown. Um, both uh, the defensive guys took the flat. That's why he was so wide ass open. And uh, uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but uh, Nick has done a good job for us. He re sees things. I think he's proven that he can play receiver at a high level. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweets, photos, videos, Let me show some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.